Hey, this is my last full day in Corozal. It's such a beautiful place. I haven't ever been to a place where I was so welcome. And the town itself, I thought I would just pay. It was a pass-through for me. But um, really, it was kind of a breakthrough. I love the lifestyle of the people. They're so friendly. Uh, the expat community here is so awesome. The Belizeans are very friendly. Uh, for the most part, they keep to themselves, but uh, always high and always smiles. Um, I'm just really impressed by the lifestyle here, and um, I'm actually going to be checking out of uh, the Sea Breeze, which is right around the corner. And um, after that, uh, I'm going to stay with someone who invited me uh, to a party tonight. So. Of course, I always want to party, but um, I just want to show you what I see when I walk through Corozal. Everybody told me there's nothing in Corozal, but that's not true. There's people in Corozal, and that's what makes it so beautiful. And of course, nice scenery. I'm just upset that Mr. Jimmy is not upstairs and able to say hi to me today, but uh, I'm sure I'll see him again before I leave. So let me show you what Corozal looks like. The Corozal Bay, bustling community, people going back and forth. So I beg to differ that there's nothing in Corozal. There's people in Corozal. So of course I have my backpack on. I've checked out of the Sea Breeze Hotel, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, wherever you go, what I've found in places where People have told me there's nothing or where people told me people aren't nice is that there's huge karma in the world and that when you're nice other people are nice and there's no way around it everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm walking and talking into this phone <laughs> and it's kind of amusing so here's the Seabreeze Hotel that's where I've been staying and uh, the proprietor Gwen if you don't stay here for anything else, stay here for the stories, honey. He is a stone trip. I love him. Are you kidding? Uh, Beverly keeps things clean and tidy and does the cooking. What a phenomenal woman. She's absolutely beautiful inside and out. And she actually, when she's not here five days a week, she and her sisters run a farm on their own. Man, I tell you. This is why people in the third world are going to kick our ass someday. And uh, Red the Dog, which if you go to my Facebook, which is Janet Butts, you can see Red the Dog and pictures of him. He escorts everyone, everywhere they go, in Belize. So he's not here for me right now, which means he's escorting everyone else. I swear to God, he's psychic. So I'm going to end my video here and walk over to my new friend's house. But I just want to give you one final view. Usually there's birds sitting on these stones. So until next time, I wish you much love.